G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Well, it's very early morning, you're looking at my Clyperius hives. And I thought I'd give a one week update from the time of the brood lift. Now for those who've come in late, this hive here is the original Clyperius hive and a week ago I surgically removed the brood from this hive, placed it in this hive over here. The aim of which was that this hive would requeen with all the stores in it and restart up and this hive over here would have the queen and the brood ball that I removed. That was the aim. Now, did that actually occur? Well, I've replaced the viewing um, uh, screen on this so you can see more clearly. It didn't occur. Even though I got the total brood mass out of here, the queen did not follow. She must have scooted off and hidden the uh, pollen stores or whatever. And this new box over here was queenless when I transferred the total brood ball over. How do I know that? Well, let's open up this hive and have a look now. It's early morning, so hopefully the light's good enough. Now, originally the brood mass was here. And if you look on the previous video, I cut it out totally and moved it to the new hive. What you see there is brand spanking new brood. I'll put a torch, oops. Oh, let's see if I get a torch onto it. Yeah, there you go. You can see it there. Brand spanking new brood. And that's freshly laid. I've actually seen the queen in here. And the two facts. The sheer mass of brood that's been laid, as well as seeing the queen, tells me that this hive didn't requeen. It's the original queen that's built up this brood mass. She may have hid in this little bit of brood mass just here. See there? Oops, again, I've got to get the light right. A bit tricky early morning, but I think you can see the little bit of brood mass there. And I think she may have hit into there because she started also putting new brood down in here as well. Now what, what else you can see there, I might put that light, no that doesn't work, well, it sort of works. You can see all the pollen stores on the near the entrance here. So in other words, what have I done now? Well basically I've removed the brood mass from here and this hives back up to normal strength well when I say normal strength it's got a queen it's got stores it's got workers and it is growing steadily so this hives fine I've done the brood lift from this and everything is okay on this you may be asking what's all going on with this hive I'll explain that in a minute Note the workers all around there, they're moving rather nicely, slowly, lazily in the morning. That's because there's no queen in there. I mean, what do you mean, no queen? There is a queen. So they're relaxed about life itself. So that hive is well on its way to recovery. Only take a few more bloody weeks and it'll be up to full strength again. But what about the other hive? So let's put the lid on here and uh, we'll go for a trundle over here. I'll just put you on pause a sec while I take this uh, lid off this box here. Try this way. Oh, that sort of works. Keep the sun away a bit. Anyway, they built queen cells, at least three, although with a bit of imagination I could say six, right next to existing cells. Again, that's the honey pots that they've built. So they're not wanting food, but they built queen cells next to everything. Uh, next to new cells and what they do is they build a queen cell and then they merge it with an existing cell that has an egg in it and make that cell bigger provision it with more food and it becomes a queen cell but they can only do that with brand new cells so this hive sensing that it had no queen decided bugger it we'll make our queen and went straight to the newly laid eggs 
and made at least three queen cells. So this hive is again well on its way to recovery and we'll follow that hive as well. Now pause it again. Finally, what am I doing here with the hive? Well, I believe one of the reasons this Cliperius hive is not as strong as it could be is it's lying horizontal. And most Cliperius you see live in vertical walls. I believe they do that because like a chimney, vertical um, hives allow for air to run up the hive and naturally ventilate it. And Cliperius don't push through air like a hocking's eye. So I want to make this hive a more tower-like hive. In other words, like a chimney, so that the air naturally gets drawn in the bottom and out the top. Now to do that, I've got to lift this hive from horizontal to vertical. Now I can do this in one hit, but it's rather disruptive to the bees. It's going to spill honey in the bloody hive. Uh, the brood will be disrupted. The queen laying will be disruptive. So what I've done, as you can see here from the last pictures, I've risen the hive a little bit more. And what I'll do over the next week is raise it every 12 hours by about 10 degrees, as you can see there. And what it does is it allows the bees and gives them time to adjust to the new orientation without any major disruptions to the hive. And so, but next time you see this hive, it'll be a vertical hive. The other thing I've got to do for Townsville, because it's at the lower end of the distribution of Cliperius, is I'm making a wooden um, outer box for it. And because it's going to be vertical, it's likely to be blown over in, in the slightest breeze. So a nice thick bit of timber at the bottom, like an anchor, a base plate, and I'll be coating this whole hive with timber to give it better insulation properties for the cooler months. So you'll be able to see that. We'll keep following the progress of these hives. I'll give another um, video at week two to show you how much the brood progresses.